Scott Martin is with us. John Layfield joins us. Liz McDonald and Ashley Webster also here. Starting with Apple, you could say that this thing is personal. Mm. Bigger screen, six and a half inches, that's good for people my age, and a watch, a newly designed watch, that monitors your heart rate, and it's got a fall detector. That's good for yeah. you too, Steve. That's, that's wonderful for, for me. <laughs> hey, John, did they design this thing specifically for geriatrics like myself? <laughs> Uh, look, I think they did, and it's one of the biggest consumer audiences uh, in the in the country today. So I think that is a big deal. Like you have 1.3 billion people that use some type of Apple product globally. They're not really creating new things, but the, what they're doing is getting new iterations and new generations, and that's enough. Okay, so uh, Scott, what do you say? Not not so much about designing a watch for me. That's not the point. I'm I, I'm trying to say this is a very interesting introduction of products, and it seems to me like it's a plus. What do you say, Scott? Yeah, the features are nice, Stuart. And hey, it may not be for geriatrics. My friend Brad Ray fell at dinner last night because he tripped over his handbag. And so my guess is that can help with that, too. Also, here's the thing, though. They talked about the screen cracking. That's going to improve. And also the water resistance. That's impressive. I always drop mine and I always have dropped it in water and things like that. So it's good to have some protection there. I wish they would just fix Siri, though, because that still doesn't yeah. work very well. What do you got? And also, look, it's great. I have an Apple Watch 3, and I hate it when they come out with the Apple Watch 4 and tell you all the reasons why you need to replace the one you have now. But bottom line is the revenue from the watch is, what, 5% of the total? So it's still minuscule. But yeah. this new feature with the, the echo yep. cardiogram or whatever it is, that could be a game. Yeah, the feature. FDA has approved it's it. It's FDA approved. Yeah, yeah. just so. in time for Christmas gifts for mom and dad for the holidays. And watch this. Apple is working with Aetna to possibly get these Apple watches subsidized. Oh, you know, Aetna has already given away 50000 to its own customers. So if you can get insurance to cover your Smart. Apple watch as a health device, that's a big deal. Excellent, Lizzie. I'm on it immediately. You're on it. Another executive <laughs> out at Tesla. This time it's the vice president of worldwide finance. Now, earlier, just moments ago, Liz, you said this is doomsday yeah, for Musk. Yeah, here, let me go through it. This is about the 33rd executive who's left and possibly left stock option packages, lucrative ones on the table, over the last two years. The stock has lost about 25% of its value since Musk tweeted about secured funding. Howard Schultz stepped down from Starbucks as chairman, executive chairman, to stabilize the company. Watch for Musk to step down and lose his role as chairman. He'll keep CEO and product architect. Wait, 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 wait. That's you know what something? could happen. You, that could happen. I'm saying watch for it. I'm saying watch okay. for it. Might watch happen. this. Wait, right. wait. Nearly two billion in convertible bond debt is rolling over. They need more money to pay the maturation of those junk bonds. Okay. And they have to either go equity raise, which is dilutive, wait. or borrow more. It's a lot of money. S Scott, you got to come into this because despite all of this that we've just gone through, Tesla stock is at two hundred and ninety dollars a share. How do you figure that? It's amazing. It's amazing, Stuart. I'll tell you. Um, this one probably just goes back to the charts more than anything. You know, we've played uh, with Tesla and client accounts over the last couple of years and played is probably the right word because there's been nothing uh, accountable about this stock whatsoever or really the company itself and certainly its CEO. So look at uh, Tesla is probably a buy around 250, 260. There's support down there. But if you get a bump up to say 320, 330, I think that's where you sell or just don't buy or get out. All right. Let's uh, first of all, it was Kaepernick, the, Ka the Kaepernick controversy with Nike. Now Nike is going political again. They oppose the repeal of the sanctuary law in Oregon. They want to keep Oregon as a sanctuary state. Mm. John, come into this because it seems to me that Nike is getting very political and I'm yes. wondering if being political is good for business. I think it's terrible for business. Look at look at the biggest uh, national anthem protest of all time, the 68 Olympics in Mexico City with Carlos and Smith when they did the, the Black Power salute to protest racial inequality in the states. History showed that they were right. It took decades to do that, but they were ruined financially bef before that came around. I don't know what history is going to say about Kaepernick, about the sanctuary state, but it is terrible for business for Nike to be involved in politics. Okay, back to the big board because we've got a solid gain. Now we're up 120 points. That's about a half percentage point. I'm sorry, Lizzie, no, I had to move. Right. I, no, you, you got to move on. I've got to move this Understood. show. Uh, 128 up. 26, 127 is where we are. Kroger sales, they fell short of the analyst expectations. They're going to sacrifice profit to keep on investing in online ordering services. 
competitors, they want to compete with Amazon and Walmart. But because they missed expectations, the stock's down 9%. Oh, look at Microsoft, please. <laughs> no, uh... don't, you don't have to play the trumpets, but that is a new all-time <laughs> high. $113.28 per share. If you'd have told me all those years ago when I was buying it, years ago, that it would get to 113, I would never, ever have believed you. Ever. <laughs> and look at it now. <laughs> Ahead of the hurricane, look at the insurers. Allstate, Travelers, they're the ones with a lot of business in the Carolinas. Both of them up today, especially Travelers. How about the home improvement stores, Lowe's and Home Depot? They are both down today. And the utilities that serve the Carolinas are, as you know, Duke Energy and Scanner. Those two stocks are down just a fraction. Still on the hurricane, let's talk about the economic impact. Scott, short-term pain, yes, long-term gain for the economy. What do you say? Most likely. Uh, Stuart, it depends on the damage, though, because, you know, as we've seen with some of these terrible disasters in our history, mm. sometimes businesses uh, get destroyed and don't rebuild and flee the area, and that hurts it economically. But I agree with you in large part. It looks like most of the demand that we've seen that has come, say, pulled forward at Helm Depot and Lowe's and things like that has already waned, so that's good uh, as everybody's boarded up. But you also have pent-up demand that returns after everything gets back to normal. So, yes, I think while there's a short-term interruption, long-term there's not too much yeah, disruption. You know, we got to really think about long-term pain, sorry, for that area, right? Because it's about overdevelopment of that coastal area. But it does add to the economy, the development of that area. So it's a tough call. It is, but there's probably yeah. long-term gain because a lot of money is going to be spent rebuilding. But yes. uh, John, you're in Bermuda. We all know that. I always tease you about it. What do you do during when hurricanes approach like this? Do you, do you hunker down or do you leave the island? Uh, the hurricanes, fortunately, are not like uh, earthquakes or tornadoes. I grew up in West Texas, had to deal with tornadoes all the time. They don't just appear suddenly, so you, you usually mm. have several days advance notice. So I usually try to leave the island, but Bermuda is built differently from the East Coast. Bermuda is a volcanic island, so there's not a swell like on the coastal plain. And also, Bermuda is uh, built for hurricanes. Uh, you have mandatory uh, building standards mm -hmm. that are in place, so you don't see a lot of damage from the hurricane itself. The worst part about a hurricane is when it hits land and spins off tornadoes. That's the, where the most damage is caused. Well said, John. Back to that tape of Google executives lamenting, oh, big time, President Trump's win. Scott, uh, it's on the screen now. They just detested the president's win, and they said it in a company meeting. They say that they don't put their politics into practice, but do you think, I mean, A, do you believe them, and B, is surely some regulations coming, isn't it? I don't believe them now, and i got to be honest with you, as a Google shareholder for many, many years, we've talked about it on this show, and as Google is a big part of my life, yes. uh, I'm really disappointed about this, you know? It's just too bad that they lied to us about the political uh, allegiances, let's say, they had or didn't have, as they said, because it's clear that there's obviously uh, some stake in the game that they want to have here. So, yeah, there's probably some regulations coming, and uh, it's just a bad look for Google but here. But it won't destroy their business model. That's the whole point about this, isn't it? it they, they may nip around the edges in regulation, but no. they're not going to destroy not. Google and right. Facebook's business model. Right. They're not going to do that. No. I don't think they are, at least. I mean, anybody disagree with no. me on that? No. They come out of it. All right, we're up 115 points on the day our industrials as we speak. What's next? What else have I got? Uh, oh, we're thanking people. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you very much. I'm You're sorry. Welcome. It's only 9.39 <laughs> and I've got to say goodbye to John and I've got to say goodbye to Scott. I'm very sorry, gentlemen. Oh. You lost a minute there. <laughs> <laughs> next time.